Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth, and home to the largest living penguins. Emperors spend most of their lives at sea, but because they're birds and lay eggs, they must come back to land to breed. Millions of years ago, penguin flippers were wings, like those of other birds. But now their body is better designed for moving underwater than in the air. Yet to breed, they must travel long distances over the frozen sea, sometimes walking and tobogganing 60 kilometers to reach their sheltered breeding colonies. Courtship and mating occurs at the start of winter. Soon, the sun will set for the last time until spring, and the colony will be in complete darkness for four months. As soon as her single egg is laid, the female passes it over to her mate to incubate. The egg rests on the male's feet and is kept warm under the brood pouch, a special flap of skin near his belly. The female's task is over for now, and she returns to sea to feed. While winter temperatures can drop to minus 50, the male incubates the egg at more than 30 degrees Celsius within the brood pouch. The brooding males form tight huddles, 10 birds packed into each square meter to keep warm. Emperors don't defend a territory or build any kind of nest. This loss of territorial aggression is the key to their winter breeding success. It allows them to form a tight huddle and conserve body heat they'd otherwise lose. Each bird takes a turn as a windbreak on the outer edge of the huddle as they move around to keep warm. Compared to the size of the adult, the emperor penguin lays the smallest egg of any bird. The chick hatches after nine weeks, and in all that time, the incubating male has gone without food. He has survived only on his body fat, and yet he still manages to feed the chick with an oily secretion from his crop while he waits for his mate to return from feeding at sea. Females, sleek with fat and full of food, are returning from their long fishing trip, ready to take over chick care duties, much to the relief of the waiting males. Now, the once larger male is the smaller of the pair. He's 45% lighter than he was the moment of greeting. She left an egg, she returns to a chick. He doesn't want to give up what he's guarded for nine weeks. The female's keen to take over. The changeover has to be quick so that the chick won't freeze. At last, the males can return to the ocean to feed. From September, the parents run a shuttle service delivering seafood meals. By the time the chicks are three months old, they've left their parents' womb. Their own down jackets are now thick enough to keep them warm, and both parents can now spend most of their time fishing at sea. It won't be long before the chicks join their parents underwater where the emperor penguin is truly at home. <laughs>